Today we are going to go over how I personally seal my round drill canvases because I do a little differently uh, depending on if it's round or square. So we're going to need a pair of gloves and a brush of your choice. I have used all of these. Um, this one is from Mod Podge. I got it on Amazon. I really like this one. Uh, this one is good for edges and corners. Um, and then this one's just a really large one in case you did have a super big canvas. Um, it is pretty stiff though, and it is a synthetic bristle. But today we're gonna be using the Mod Podge one. So, and dryer sheets for old drills. <clears throat> there are, hang on. Two options that you can use. sure this is on tight. So uh, the best ones I've found are both available on Amazon and in craft starts. You have Deco Art Triple Thick, Gloss Glaze, and then Mod Podge Super Gloss. Um, I think it comes out better than the regular gloss and this is the one we're going to be using today. Um, I do like both of them though. The other thing you're going to need is some kind of a bowl with your Mod Podge or your Triple Thick in it. And then you're also gonna need a little bit of water. Now, nobody panic, um, just a little bit of water. And then I use like these disposable chopsticks to mix it up, just to make it a little bit more watery. Get all that in there. And then if it's too thick, add more water. And if it's too watery, you know the deal, add more of the uh, glaze gloss. Now the reason I do water it down, and don't worry, the bubbles are gonna pop themselves once everything settles down, is that I want it to really be able to settle in between the drills. Um, the normal thickness is really, really thick. Uh, just a personal preference. I know there are a lot of videos out there on how to, um, but I still thought I would want to share the way that I do it just because I don't think I've seen anybody do it the way that I do. So here's what you're left with. And I'm going to put this over here. I just have a piece of foam core to protect my canvas, but I'm going to take you off of that and bring you down a little bit better. We'll shed some more light over on. Now, glove is because we're going to be wiping away the excess. So you want to dip it and then you want to apply it to the canvas. Now I'm going to go in a couple different directions just to make sure I'm getting everything in every crack. I did clean the canvas beforehand, but as you can see, I've got a hair there. Joys of living with dogs. Wouldn't give them up, but I could go with a little less fur sometimes. So again, we're just gonna really saturate this. We're not gonna be too, you know, picky and delicate. You just really wanna make sure you're getting in all of those grooves. I thought this one would be a really good candidate to show you just because it does have light colors. It's got dark colors. It's got everything in between. So I can kind of go over and show you, you know, what it looks like after. Cause once this dries, I'll bring you guys back with some movie magic. So it'll be like instantaneous for you. Um, I normally like to let these set overnight. But I just want to get this one section done. So it really fills in everything. Uh, it goes over the drills and the cracks of the drills. It coats and covers all, which is great for protecting the canvas. But at the same time, if you don't wipe off the excess, and I'm just gonna take my cloth and I'm gonna dip it in some of the water and dribble a little and just make sure it's lightly damp. Now, you're gonna take it and you're going to wipe away the excess. The 
we want to get the excess off of the drills and leave everything else underneath. And it's going to look like there are some bubbles forming in there, but I promise you they will go away. Uh, they kind of just pop themselves. So, now that that section's done, I'm probably going to fast forward this bit and do the rest. Sorry guys, stopped recording for a second when I tried to move it. Alrighty, so we're going to do one last wiping. First off to move a lot of the excess out of the way. Sorry, just bumped you with my noggin. And then you want to pat it down and pick up any excess and do apply a little bit of pressure. You know, you don't want to be too soft and gentle that you're leaving way too much behind. I 
you have some fuzzies trying to stick to the outside of it, but those will come off once everything's dried. All right. Now, bear with me one second. I'll be right back. Now I wanted to show you when wiping all this down. Are you on it? I think you are. Yes, you are. I did lose one thrill. Not the end of the world. While everything is still wet, you want to push it and place it in there. real quick touch up put the pin back now I'm gonna take you off the stand and show you a more close-up of it so can you see how there's the gel is sitting down in between them right? But it's not suffocating them, you know? So it's not going to make it so they don't have any shine. Sorry for the shaking. So it works fantastic in my opinion. And now what I'm going to do is let this dry and hang out and then we'll be back. See you soon. All right, everybody, we are back and it is completely sealed. Let me see if I can show you better. So it's shiny down in between the drills because that is where the resin sat, but it did not compromise any of that sparkle. See? works like a charm. Now I do have, hold on, let me put you back on this mount. Bear with me just a second. Boop. Okay. Now for an example, all the sparkles that it has, right? Let me grab my other one. Now, this one was one of my test projects, and it kind of lost the sparkle that this has. Um, and it's a lot stiffer. So it's the same exact, um, it's this, but I wanted to use this for a test project. So I don't know if you can tell, but it's completely covered up all the facets. And this might make some of you cringe, but it's so rigid that anytime you go to move it, it just, it cracks. And then you're left with this awful ridge. So it took away all the sparkle. It doesn't look as bad, but it kind of muddled the image as well. Um, let me see if I can get both of them up here. Um, and this one, because it's a thinner layer, it's still bendable. It's still pliable, you know, it still moves. It's a little bit stiffer, but it's not bad. It's not gonna crack on you. You know, it's not gonna do all those funky things. So yeah, and I think the next one will be of me actually framing this one. I did paint the edges. Um, I don't want to do the wrap just because I'm gonna lose so much of his face. So this is gonna go in maybe like a nice little 
white antique frame and then I'll show you guys how that comes out and then after that I've got some more unboxings. So excited. Uh, so I will see you in the near future. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.